According to People magazine, there had been several subtle clues along the way about Meghan Markle's pregnancy long before the official announcement. Kensington Palace announced on Monday, October 15 that the Duchess of Sussex is indeed expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. The official announcement came after she had her 12-week scan. That means her first trimester is over. Rumors before official announcement There had been many rumors and speculations that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex expecting a baby. People magazine pointed out several subtle clues before the pregnancy was confirmed. Now the rumors can be put to rest. Hair One way to draw attention away from a pregnant woman's belly is to change the hair. That's exactly what Meghan did. Before she became pregnant she used to wear a bouncy blowout or a low bun. She was photographed in September with her hair in a different style. She was seen wearing her hair in a different way at the Coach Corps Awards and again at her first solo outing as a royal for the opening of an art exhibit. Meghan's sister-in-law Kate Middleton did the same thing before the announcements of her three children. She wore bangs before the public was informed that she was expecting a baby. Cosmopolitan says Meghan's hair was a big clue that became noticeable about three weeks ago. When Prince Harry and Meghan made an appearance on September 24, Meghan's hair was pinned straight. She usually wears it with bouncy curls or in a messy bun. Cosmopolitan said the same thing that People magazine reported about the Duchess' hair. Clothing One of the biggest clues came three days before the confirmation. On October 12, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended Princess Eugenie's wedding at the same place where they got married themselves on May 19. Meghan wore an oversized Givenchy navy coat, and she didn't take it off. In the past weeks, she has been wearing ruffled dresses and jackets. More PDA Prince Harry and Meghan have always shown a public display of affection, PDA. They have been photographed holding hands and holding on to each other, but recently Harry has been seen rubbing her back. That was a sign that something else was going on. Now we know that Meghan was going through her first trimester of pregnancy. Relying on best friend for support Last August, Meghan visited her best friend Jessica Moroni in Toronto. That's where Meghan lived when she was filming Suits. Now sources say she went solo on a three-day trip to share the good news with Jessica. After all, her best friend has three children of her own. Her twin boys were the ones who carried Meghan's veil on her wedding day. Jessica is with Meghan on the 16-day tour over four countries. She is there as the Duchess stylist and for moral support. Placement of Purse Meghan has been using her purses to hide her belly. It could have been done consciously or subconsciously to take the focus off of any baby bump that might have been present. Placement of Hands Just like using a purse, a pregnant woman will fold her hands on her belly. This might be done without her being fully aware of it. Purple Folders When Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan were first spotted in Australia after a 22-hour airplane ride, both of them were beaming. Meghan was wearing a bulky overcoat, and she carried large purple folders strategically placed over her stomach. Viewers noticed and were quick to point out that Meghan was pregnant before the official announcement was made by Kensington Palace. Timing it was not that Meghan was trying to deliberately deceive the public about her pregnancy. She was wise to keep it a secret until now. Pregnant women usually don't announce their pregnancy until after three months. It is safer to do it then. Meghan did not want to upstage Princess Eugenie's royal wedding with the news of her pregnancy. Glowing People say women glow when they are pregnant. That was never a sign that Meghan was pregnant because she is always glowing even before she got pregnant. She has been seen smiling during all her public appearances. Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor-General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day your excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here, so I'm very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. 
Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously, New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all clear. Meghan Markle may have told Princess Anne the exciting news that she is pregnant at Princess Eugenie's wedding in this touching moment. The Duchess of Sussex and Princess Anne sat next to each other in St. George's Chapel and they appeared to be having a warm and friendly chat before the ceremony started. However, now that Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, have announced they are expecting their first child it seems there is more to this conversation than just small talk. In one moment, Princess Anne looks down at Meghan's stomach as her coat was unbuttoned. Then in another moment the Queen's daughter makes gestures with her hands. Meghan copies the hand gestures as the pair giggle. It is unclear what they were talking about but it was speculated that the conversation was more telling after today's baby announcement. Charlie Proctor, the editor-in-chief of Royal Central, tweeted the video and said, I didn't want to say anything at the time because I know how annoying the rumor mill is, but Meghan's conversation with Princess Anne suddenly makes a lot more sense now. And looking at her stomach, the hand movements etc. Hashtag Royal Baby. One Twitter user responded speculating the hand gestures were referencing how big Zara Tindall was when she was pregnant. They said, no wonder the Princess Royal looked at Meghan so warmly, and I wonder if it was Zara or Peter that was that big. Another user said it makes sense now that Princess Anne was looking at Meghan's stomach. They added, that's also why her coat was open. Royal fans had wildly speculated that the Duchess's outfit on Friday was a major hint she was pregnant. She looked stunning in a Givenchy dress, finished with a hat by Noel Stewart and Pippa Small jewelry but also wore a loose-fitting and long navy coat. The covered-up look is in complete contrast from sleek dresses she has been pictured wearing at a number of events recently. Royal fans flocked to Twitter and speculated that Meghan might be expecting her first child with Harry. One tweeted, something about Meghan's outfit choice makes me think she's pregnant and hiding a baby bump. It's so conservative. Another wrote, I have a feeling Meghan is pregnant. She's glowing and her face looks fuller to me. Can't wait for them to announce it. One tweet read, Meghan Markle is definitely pregnant. My psychic intuition does not lie and that long coat is rather suspicious. Kensington Palace had remained tight-lipped on growing speculation that Meghan is pregnant until now. Prince Harry is turning 34 today, saying goodbye to 33 and no doubt one of the best years of his life. Now married and settled down with Meghan Markle, how will Harry spend his birthday? Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, 34, is celebrating his 34th birthday today. Everyone's favorite prince has perhaps had the best year of his life, getting engaged and married to the love of his life, Meghan Markle. Last month his wife celebrated her 37th birthday, with the couple spending the day at the wedding of one of Harry's closest friends. Now his turn to celebrate, 
How will Harry and Meghan be spending his special day? Harry's 34th birthday is the third birthday the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have celebrated as a couple, after they started dating in August 2016. Despite just months away from being engaged, the couple actually didn't get to spend Harry's 33rd birthday together. The loved-up couple spent the day apart, with Meghan back in Toronto filming for Suits and Harry back in the UK. However, this year is set to be different, with Meghan and Harry no doubt spending the day together. While their exact plans remain under wraps, an E. News report revealed last year that Harry doesn't like to make a big fuss on his birthday. The couple quietly celebrated Harry's birthday the weekend before in London last year, just the two of them, which is reportedly how Harry likes it. Talking about his 33rd birthday, the E. News report continued, he opening bracket Harry closing brace like that it was just the two of them. Sometimes it doesn't have to be a huge thing with a group of friends. One new addition to the couple that will be joining them for Harry's birthday today is their new rescue Labrador. Making the first steps to starting a family, the Duke and Duchess got a dog in early summer reported by People magazine to be called Oz. The new pooch joined Meghan's rescue beagle, Guy, who travelled to the UK with her when she moved from Toronto. Sadly the Duchess wasn't able to take her other dog Labrador Shepherd Mix Bogart with her when she made the move. Ahead of her husband's birthday today, Meghan was reportedly spotted outside of Kensington Palace with the couple's new dog. Lisa Petrillo, who is an entertainment journalist for CBS Miami claimed to have made the spot. She posted to her Instagram account, so incredibly enough, walking by at Kensington Royal we spotted this beautiful woman with a familiar air outside the entrance to the private residence where Harry and Meghan live. Meghan? Her dog was doing his business. She couldn't have been sweeter.